this whole semester we have been like we've been learning about ways to communicate in, in a non-violent way, just to change the way people think about the way they interact with each other. We kind of brought up thinking that we're either right or wrong, we're either good or bad, we either need to be punished or rewarded, and it's a complete shift away from that way of thinking to a language and a consciousness where you're just looking at what motivates people from the inside out, not from the outside in. The more you, you, you just hear each other's stories, the more you kind of try to understand and say, okay, it's not about me, we're just living in a different way. And if we, if we were to see the other side of the stories, we can try to see how we can change the situation. By listening to them talk, I know that also it helps me question what I believe. And I think questioning our truths is really, really important. And we wouldn't get that opportunity without some contrast here and there. Students have been upset by other students using certain types of language that, that they say is offensive. And how do we say, oh, that actually hurts when I hear that? Finding the way and the language to say that without blaming and saying, you did something wrong. I had to understand that and try to like use different words to express myself because people react to different things in certain, like a certain way. So I wouldn't say I'm gonna change my vocabulary a lot, but code switching I will do, but depending on the environment I am, in, I am in and how people take offense to different things. So nonviolent communication has two parts, which is speaking and listening and. The speaking bit is you're connecting empathically with yourself before you speak. So you're saying, whoa, this matters so much to me. And so, you know, when I see this happening, I feel a certain way. And from that place, you speak. And then when you're hearing, you're only hearing what really matters to the other person from the inside, not judging from the outside. It's helped me kind of see how, how I can approach a situation and taking an argument that would normally um, separate people and use that to bring us closer and, and make us feel more as a family. And it takes the finger pointing out of it. They can actually communicate with each other without getting defensive. That's the whole kind of goal is connection, seeing the humanity in each other. No matter what anybody does, we're just trying to meet a need. And then make your request, state what happened, and move on with the situation. Back home, it's like, you did something to me, we got to fight. And I would love to change that culture behind that. Every single situation that they might run up against, they can use this tool. All settings are good settings. You know, whether it is from a conversation with a family member to a conversation with a prospective um, employer or someone who's on the street who's trying to pick a fight with you. It's hard, it's not easy, but it allows them to, it gives them a tool to go back out into life and make peace. <laughs>